putt on 14 downhill left to right just probably about a foot and a half out I struggled all week really getting enough break on those benders uh, normally my strong suit because I like to see it roll into the high side of the hole but it was just difficult all week when you were pin eye to the hole it kind of wanted to leave yourself below it um, so you could be a bit more aggressive with a putt uh, it's one of those where it's pretty much the same old same old the whole the whole week so uh, frustrating yes because at that time I think I think I was 10 under <laughs> I think I was 10 under par and 12 under or 11 under was leading so it was just a matter of really executing the shots coming down the stretch here in again out the rough you've got to play for it to to fly a bit and obviously it's not going to come out with too much spin I had a good number for just short of the green it's just one of those which came out great it's Obviously, you're trying to hit them close coming down the coming down the stretch, but that obviously worked out a lot better than than I'd anticipated, and it was uh, it was a nice little tap in. Provide a little bit of momentum going into 16, 17, and 18, which are obviously your your birdie holes on the on the back nine downwind and off the right. <laughs> this is this hole's been giving me trouble all week. It, it's in between clubs. We didn't play a three wood in the bag this week just purely because the wind was blowing and I, I thought that I could fly two irons into a few of the par fours and par fives. 16 was just a straight up three wood all week. It's, uh, it was one of those where we kind of thought short was the better miss of the two. Uh, probably the wrong thing at the time. It left me with this little awkward shot. It's, it's into the grain the first half and then as it gets to the top of the hill that didn't get there, but as it gets to the top of the hill, it kind of runs away from you. I just, I just kept thinking, if I hit it too hard, I'm going to hit it there where Scott Jamison's busy putting from. Uh, looking back at it now, it was probably driver at the back of the green, mm, easier chip. This was an awkward putt because it was into the grain over the ridge. I thought I hit it good, but as it went over that hill there, it just kept going and going and going, and it didn't turn. Uh, it's probably a good thing looking at that that it hit the hole. <laughs> uh, at that point in time. I kind of thought making par was, was giving one to the field. It looked like this leaderboard, the guys were going to post scores. And as I was saying to a few of the guys earlier, it was more about just getting into the clubhouse first and maybe applying a little bit of scoreboard pressure. 17 is is a lovely little par 3. It's, it's, it's a funky wind. It's kind of like not straight off the left. There's a little bit of help. I had a good shot into a similar flag on Friday. I took one club less this time around and I guess I was a little bit pumped up because I hit it good. And I didn't see it going quite as far as that. But at the end of the day, it really wasn't that bad a result. It gave me a, it gave me a pretty good look at birdie. And, and I walked up there, I think Olvera was, was 12 under par, if I'm not mistaken. So it was one of those where I kind of feel that you have to make birdie. Um, maybe roll it in and, and don't leave it all down to the last hole. It just got a good roll through the fringe. It's, uh, it really did. I'd been waiting all week to roll one in like that. Uh, middle cup with a little bit of authority and I guess it was nice to have obviously happened on the 17th. It's, uh, again, it was weird. It didn't really ever feel like I was playing with the lead. It was, it was always just more about trying to, trying to post a score. It was a good drive. It's, it's one of those where you kind of want to give yourself a second shot. Um, I had it pretty good, uh, probably one of my better ones of the week, and it just left me with an opportunity. I had about two, I think I had, I think I had 250 front edge. Um, <laughs> I had a very similar shot on on Friday, uh, and I tried to hit two iron and kind of just hold it up in the air a little bit, and I pulled it into the water. So that obviously went through my mind, and I went one club down. I took a three iron, and I just thought I'd try lace it, uh, turn it in off off the 18 of, uh, of, the, of the stand there at the back and there's that 18, just kind of hit it as hard as you can and don't leave anything in the, in the tank. <laughs> when I hit it, I struck it pretty good. As you can see, I got a bit excited, almost dropped the club. Yeah, you see, I got a soft bounce. <laughs> I, uh, when I hit it, I thought it was straight at it. Uh, nobody clapped. <laughs> I couldn't understand it at that time. I didn't know whether it was long. Or, or what was going on, but again, I was just happy I'm executing my shots. Uh, this was a putt that I had a long time to think about. Speed, really, all it was, it was the one thing that, uh, that I struggled with all week. 
was just actually gauging the speed. I completely misread that. I thought it was, I thought it was going to go right to left and, and went the other way. It left me with a putt that I didn't otherwise want, to be fair. I was trying to leave it a little short right of the hole so you'd have a putt straight up the hill. A couple of things going through my brain. I made a similar putt to that on, on 18 last night, or well, not last night, on Friday as well. Uh, it's probably about half a ball out in the right and just kind of like hit it and let it die down. I thought it was low for a second. And you don't really see me fist pump very often, but that was that was one where you needed to roll that in just to just to give the guys a little bit of a challenge there at the top. And look, I mean, Al and I worked hard, champ. He probably worked. Those grey hairs are probably from me, <laughs> but it's it's a great result. Uh, I'm happy with the way I played. It's I think I think the most satisfying part is the fact that I actually executed my shots coming down the stretch, and that's. That's something that I've, I've said in the past where I like to be there and thereabouts and, and in the hunt. And yeah, it feels great to have crossed the line and be a winner on the European Tour. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.